In this video, you'll see how to deploy AWS Config Conformance Packs using CloudFormation. With this service, you can easily deploy conformance packs from CloudFormation templates, create custom templates to suit your needs, and expose parameters at deployment to afford greater control. A conformance pack is a collection of AWS Config compliance rules and remediation actions that can be deployed and monitored as a single entity across your AWS account or organization. Conformance packs are defined using CloudFormation templates, and the templates can be deployed using either AWS Config or CloudFormation. The CloudFormation option can be easily modified at deployment for advanced use cases. Let's begin by reviewing the process of deploying a conformance pack through AWS Config. With AWS Config, you can deploy a conformance pack in just a few steps. You can choose from a collection of sample templates in the wizard or develop one of your own. We'll select the AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, Best Practices Sample Conformance Pack Template provided by AWS. Scroll down to review the details you can specify. Notice that the Parameters section is optional, and the available parameters are not displayed here. If you want to pass any parameter values during deployment using this wizard, you'll need to look up the available parameters in the template file, and then return to this page and provide the custom parameter values. The template for this conformance pack can be found in the AWS Config documentation. The documentation provides CloudFormation template files for all the sample conformance packs available in the Config deployment wizard. You can create your own conformance packs by extending these sample templates with rules, input parameters, and remediation actions that suit your environment. We'll select the template we were preparing to deploy earlier, Operational Best Practices for AWS Identity and Access Management. Here's the YAML code for the template. Let's look at the parameters it defines. The template includes four parameters and their default values. To modify these values, you would need to manually enter the necessary information from this code into the config conformance pack deployment wizard we saw earlier. For our purposes, let's end our review of the config deployment method here and see how to deploy this same conformance pack using CloudFormation. To get started, we'll copy this YAML template so we can use it as a resource in our CloudFormation template. Let's switch to a text editor. We'll create a custom CloudFormation template that will wrap the sample conformance pack template we just copied. For our custom template, we have specified a template format version, a parameter corresponding to the conformance pack delivery bucket, and all the other parameters and resources outlined in the IAM Best Practices Conformance Pack sample template. Under the Resources section of our custom template, we have specified only a single resource, the Conformance Pack to be deployed to AWS Config. For this resource, we have specified the properties necessary for the Conformance Pack to deploy, including its name, delivery bucket location, and the parameters it expects upon deployment. The specified properties all have their values fulfilled by referencing the parameter values at the top of this template, which will be prompted for in CloudFormation during creation. Next, we'll feed the values of the parameters into the CloudFormation template by pasting the conformance pack template file we copied from the AWS documentation into the template body field of our defined resources. This will make the parameters in the template editable from the CloudFormation deployment interface. Note that it's possible to add more than one conformance pack template to a custom CloudFormation template. We have now defined all the necessary rules for the sample conformance pack. Let's deploy this template to CloudFormation now. Now let's navigate to CloudFormation and create a stack using the template we built. Upload the template file and proceed to the next step. Specify a name for the stack. Notice that you are prompted for the parameters that were defined in our custom CloudFormation template. You can specify non-default values or even add further parameters to fine-tune your conformance specifications. Let's specify the delivery bucket for storing and delivering the compliance pack results, retain the default values, and move on. You can also add information here, such as IAM role permissions or tags, to further define the behavior of the conformance pack. In this case, let's continue and create the stack.
the conformance pack is started to deploy through cloud formation. After it deploys, let's check AWS config to ensure that the conformance pack is listed there and that it functions as expected. As you can see, the conformance pack was successfully deployed to AWS config through cloud formation and produces an overall compliance status of non-compliant. Let's drill in for more details. The rules specified in the IAM Best Practices Sample Conformance Pack have been set up successfully, and you can see the compliance status of each. You can select any rule to learn more about it. From here, you can further investigate any non-compliance issues. You've just seen how to deploy AWS Config Conformance Packs using CloudFormation. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.